How much money did Hunter Biden and his business associates receive from the Ukrainian company Burisma? Uh, Burisma paid to everyone involved $6.5 million. $6.5 million. Burisma also paid Blue Star Strategies and a law firm hundreds of thousands of dollars, bringing the total Burisma payments to over $7 million. Is, is that correct? That is correct. $7.3 million. $7.3 million. Between 2014 and 2019, this brings the total amount of foreign income streams received to approximately $17 million, correct? That is correct. And that was IRS whistleblower Joseph Ziegler revealing to the House Oversight Committee the amount of money Biden took in from foreign entities in 2014 and 15. IRS agent Gary Shapley also told the committee that a Biden-appointed U.S. attorney who donated to the Biden campaign, by the way, refused to bring multiple felony charges against Hunter Biden despite their recommendations. Democrats, however, on the committee, they tried to make the hearing all about former President Trump. Watch. What America needs to understand is that the only political interference at play here is coming from Donald Trump and my Republican colleagues. We are here today because Donald Trump is exerting an influence campaign. Uh, joining me now is Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson. He's the House Republican Conference Vice Chairman. He's a member of the House Judiciary Armed Services Committees and a member of the Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of Government. Congressman, good to see you this morning. Uh, how would you assess your colleagues yesterday? Are they not acknowledging uh, what these bank records show about the Biden family? They're doing their best to hide the headline here. Look, the American people, Maria, are having a hard time keeping up with all the scandals involving the Bidens, but here's what they don't want you to recognize. The evidence now shows, it proves, that the first family is hopelessly corrupt. They've been involved in extortion and bribery schemes and tax fraud and incredible abuses of power, and now the second headline that we're proving through all these oversight hearings, through judiciary oversight and the other committees, uh, even Ways and Means now, is that there is a, a two-tiered system of justice. That's what the people intuitively recognize, and now the evidence shows. The DOJ, the FBI, and the IRS, and other federal agencies are involved in a cover-up to help the first family. Well, I mean, Congressman, this is all stunning. I mean, this, what you're saying yeah. is extraordinary. What are you going to do about it? It sounds like a, a terrible movie yes, or a novel or something. It's happening right now in real time. And we are doing our dead level best to expose these facts to the American people and bring accountability because the people are frustrated. They see this happening. They don't understand why the Biden family gets a special treatment or, or the rich and powerful, but especially this family. I mean, we have now $17 million and counting of these amounts of money that have been uncovered that were put into these um, sort of ghost companies that the Biden family family put together, many of which when Joe Biden was vice president, to hide the sources of all this funding. And it involves China and Ukraine. I mean, adversaries around the world. Um, it's a very, very serious and alarming problem. And now it's being litigated. You know, we had this big 155-page uh, federal court opinion came out of Louisiana on July 4th, and they said the social media companies are involved. The DOJ and the FBI uh, coerced the social media companies into hiding this information about the Hunter Biden laptop before the 2020 election about, um, you know, COVID vaccines and other disfavored information, they censored the speech of Americans who were sharing protected uh, speech online. Yeah. And it's just an incredible, incredible set of facts. Have you been able to identify specifically what Joe Biden was being paid for? Because I have notes here uh, from a, uh, a former official uh, in government who told me that back in 2013 and 14, Joe Biden signed a memorandum of understanding. Uh, and that memorandum of understanding was signed and agreed upon with China, where he allowed Chinese companies to trade on U.S. exchanges and not follow auditing rules. Um, it's amazing to me that the Securities and Exchange Commission allows Chinese companies to blow off auditing rules that American companies, public companies have to follow. Was that one of the decisions that Joe Biden made as vice president that he was paid for? It certainly appears so. And every time that an investigator or, or some, you know, the DOJ should be involved in this, the FBI and in investigating these things, um, yeah. it, it gets silenced, it gets covered up. And yeah. that's what the whistleblower's testimony, that's why it's so valuable to us. Well, Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer joined me on this program yesterday, reacting to the news of a potential third indictment of President Trump, meanwhile, in the middle of all of this. Watch this. It's to the point to where I don't think people are even paying attention to the Trump indictments. I mean, it's, it's almost like the Biden 
re-election campaign continues to cry wolf here. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't indict Donald Trump right before I hit the gavel for this committee hearing today. Every time we break big news uh, with respect to the Biden criminal investigation, here comes somebody to indict Donald Trump to try to steal the headlines. So it really does feel like America is a banana republic, Congressman. I mean, is that what we're doing now? We're just going to take down our political enemies? That, that's exactly what's happening. Merrick Garland, as, as the attorney general, has turned the DOJ into a politicized agency. They're doing the bidding of one political party, and, and particularly the first family. And yeah. it's frightening. And Maria, you know, you can't maintain a constitutional republic if the people lose their faith in a system of justice. And there is nothing less than that at stake here. And that's why we, we have to keep pressing. Oh, we have to have accountability. Yeah. No, we're, we're losing faith, that's for sure. I'm with Tiana Lowe Desher today. Go ahead, Tiana, jump in. Hi, just one final question about specifically Blue Star Strategies, which Burisma hired during the Obama-Biden administration to lobby on behalf of the of the firm. One of the officials under the Biden under the Obama-Biden administration is now again serving in the Biden administration, who met with this with Blue Star that was invoking Hunter Biden's name in order to protect Burisma. That official is Amos Hochstein. Should we be expecting more subpoenas of sitting Biden administration members who were in these discussions back during the Burisma negotiations? Look, these investigations that we have in the House will continue in earnest. We have a, a very important constitutional responsibility here, and that is to get answers for the people. And if the DOJ and the FBI and the IRS and all the other Biden federal agencies are trying to cover this up, we're going to reveal it, and we're going to lay this bare for the American people to draw their conclusions. And I think you, you all see, we all see, uh, that they understand what's happening here. It's, it's frightening. It your really colleagues, is. Your colleagues have drawn articles of impeachment. Is that where this is going? Well, look, there's there's several cabinet officials that deserve being impeached at this point. Um, we only have, have so much bandwidth here, and I don't think Chuck Schumer and the Senate are going to go along with this. But Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.